Hey there YouTube, welcome to another Tech Me Out video. Thank you so much for being here. As you can hear right off the bat, my voice is almost non-existent. I've been fighting a very pesky cough which is impacting my voice also. But I've decided not to wait any longer with this video because I've been getting a lot of requests about it. The topic of this video is how to get Pixie booting working in a Unify ecosystem where your Unify gateway or USG or UDM or whatever is also your DHCP server. There are, are certain things we need to do that we need to uh, uh, focus about, especially in the DHCP server area. I will show you exactly how it's done and you will see that it's very simple. Of course, every vendor has a different way of implementing that and the different uh, paths and the options that it, it expects to receive. We will focus on Unify and you will see that it's very simple. So we will jump right in to the uh, computer and see how it's done. I will try to keep this video very short and focused because I'm, I'm having a hard time speaking. So uh, uh, forgive me about that. Let's jump right in and see how to do it. So we are at the computer and again I'm very sorry about how uh, my voice sounds. Uh, please uh, uh, try to disregard my, uh, my voice, I'm, I promise I'm working on it, I'm taking medications, I'm sorry. So as I said, the focus of today, today's video is how to get pixie booting working in a Unify ecosystem where the Unify device is also our DHCP server. But first, just uh, uh, for general understanding of what is pixie booting, well, in general, in the generalist, uh, uh, most, uh, uh, most overall uh, uh, sense, pixie booting is a process where a client computer, be it intentionally or be it because there is no uh, uh, operating system on its internal hard drives, tries to boot from the network uh, this protocol is very old, it's been used in a lot of uh, applications but we, uh, we, must, uh, we might know it from booting from, uh, uh, from the network to a, a WDS MDT or a, a SCCM server to get an OS, an OS imaged on uh, our computer. So in general the process uh, is about getting a client computer from a DHCP server, it gets usually its IP address, its subnet mask, its default gateway, uh, DNS servers, but it can also get back from the DHCP server information about where to go if there is no operating system on the client computer. And we are talking about specifically options uh, 66 and 67 so the client computer talks to the DHCP server gets its lease gets its lease and gets back from the DHCP server the lease and what we have configured in the, in the DHCP uh, options so now the client computer is not the client computer knows to go to the pixie server and get back from the pixie server the image or the network-based operating system or whatever it has to offer to the client computer. So the process is very, uh, let's say, generalistically simple. There are a lot of mechanisms to, uh, to make the process working. We need to have an already pre-configured uh, Pixie server uh, with a uh, Pixie, uh, Pixie boot image or a WinPE image and it should be already set up and ready to go. So this is the process in general. Now, let's see in action a client computer trying to boot without an operating system, and in this case it will fail, but we will again uh, repeat the process after we will configure the DHCP options, and we will see how this uh, uh, process uh, then succeeds. So I will jump to my uh, uh, vCenter server and I will create a new virtual machine 
a blank virtual machine without an operating system. I will put it on my uh, Synology iSCSI data store. It will be a Windows 10 based uh, uh, virtual machine. Now I always use theme provisioning but it's in this case it doesn't really matter. Now this virtual machine will be connected to my client's network which is Again, if you're using Pixie booting, your network is probably isn't flat and using just one LAN or just one VLAN. In this case, my, uh, 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 my client's network is VLAN 30 and my server or my Pixie server is in the server VLAN, which is VLAN 10. So unless I give this, div this device uh, option 66 and 67 with its DHCP list, it will not be able to find the Pixie server on its own. So let's finish this uh, creation of the uh, virtual machine. Let's power it on. And we will see that the process will fail. There is no operating system and there is no Pixie response as well. There will, there will be no response. The, 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 the client will not be able to find the Pixie server at this point. All right, so let's power off this virtual machine. And we will jump to our Unify controller. In this case, it's a, a, a Ubiquiti UDM. And we'll go back, uh, right into the settings. I'm using the old fashioned settings, but that's just uh, uh, what's uh, uh, convenient for me. We'll go to the networks and we'll go to the client's network right here. Now, I have already configured the DHCP range and the DHCP server is on and I also given uh, in the DHCP lists my uh, uh, DNS servers but in order to configure network booting or Pixie booting we will need to jump into the advanced DHCP options and tick this option right here DHCP network boot so now what unify needs us to fulfill or to prefill is the address of the DHC of the Pixie server sorry and we will not be able at least for now to use a, 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 an FQDN we will need to use an IP address and the Pixie file name now if you uh, if you already worked with Pixie uh, configurations you know that this is a path but it's not really a UNC path it's a, a, a in a, in, a, in a matter of speaking, it's a Pixie path. Pixie is its own protocol and it uses its own uh, uh, um, methods or, uh, or formats of paths. So I have already pre-filled uh, uh, pre a, a, a notepad with my Pixie server IP address and with a proper Pixie boot file, which is I'm using WDS and on top of that I'm using MDT to, uh, to, uh, to image my devices. WDS is actually the Pixie responder and uh, MDT uh, goes on top of that to take over and do the actual imaging. So this is all we need to configure in the UDM or the USG. Uh, we'll click on save. We will give it a few seconds uh, to provision and to, uh, uh, and to prefill uh, uh, all the necessary information. At this point, we can go back to our vCenter server and we will try to uh, power on this virtual machine and we will see in this case that the Pixie response is now, uh, uh, is now uh, uh, will be working and the client uh, using the new uh, DHCP options 
will be able to communicate and get an image from the Pixie server. Now, a word of caution, this will not work if your firewall walls prevent any communications between the villains. So the, the firewall portion of, the, of this configuration needs to be already dealt with, be it you open all communications or just uh, the ports needed for the Pixie communication. You can see in this diagram, the ports are 69 and 4011. Uh, and now without further ado, let's power on the virtual machine and see how it behaves. And there you have it. We get a Pixie response from the Pixie server. And in a few seconds, we will receive our boot image. There you have it. And now the, the device is getting its boot image from the Pixie server. And once it's loaded, and, and the process has actually been finished. The Pixie communication has been established. And now all we have left to do is to image the device and, and the, uh, install an operating system on it. So, this is the whole magic behind Pixie booting in Unify. Um, Pixie booting, in this case, for a, a Windows-based operating system imager, but in cases, uh, other cases, it can be a, a zero client that will, Pixie res that will use Pixie to get an operating system from the network. I, I don't mean imaging from the network, I mean actually loading an operating system from the, uh, from the network, but that's a, a, a aside from the topic. So this is the Pixie booting in a Unify ecosystem. I really hope uh, uh, that you enjoyed this video. If you have a, 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 a different method of doing it, if you are using Pixie booting in Unify, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm ha always happy to receive comments and maybe learn a, a, a few things. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive notifications when new videos come out. And we will see you all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.